Hello everybody, this is Mike here, and I'm getting ready to present to you a program that I thought about a few weeks ago when I found out everyone was going to be very much quarantining during Easter. I thought, well, what can I do? Well, uh, gift of music, I think, is the best thing I can give, and I've decided to do just that with this program. I have taken about nine organ solos that I normally love to hear and love to play during Holy Week in the Easter season, and I've interspersed that together with scripture that my wife Donna is going to read for us, and tried to weave this all together and decided to just let the organ solos, the music, and the scripture, and the stories uh, sort of speak for themselves. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus said to his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you why you are doing this, tell them, The Lord needs it and will send it back here shortly. They went and found a colt outside of the street, tied at a doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked, What are you doing untying that colt? They asked, they answered as Jesus had told them to, and the people let them go. When they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut into fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest. <laughs> disciples began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. 
Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. As he approached Jerusalem and saw the city, he wept over it and said, If you, even you, had only known on this day what would bring you peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes, the days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embarkment against you and encircle you and hem you in on every side. They will dash you to the ground, you and the children within your walls. They will not leave one stone on another because you did not recognize the time of God's coming to you. Thank you.